Hello, welcome to episode 44 of our Ostrov Alpha 4 Let's Play. It is November of 1763 in our town. Last episode, we added several new houses and all sorts of other fun stuff as well. And a few uh, additional fields for our forest trees to harvest from. And of course, once those are filled enough to be harvested, we'll be doing that. But today's episode, we've got to try and figure out a way to boost our food supply here. And of course, the best way to do that is by having increased farm and garden output. And last episode's houses we built will help with that just a little bit. But of course, we're going to have to do something else as well. So we need to find spots for some more houses with gardens. And as we've discovered before, this area is not really great over here because we're far away from a, uh, a market. But it seems to actually not care about that so much anymore. So that's, that's really interesting because I think before, if I'm remembering correctly at least, we didn't have the ability to have houses over here because we had too much space between them and other stuff here. But if we can uh, if we can get away with having some more houses on this side, then I think that's probably the way to go, right? So that's three more houses right there. Our forestry workers will have to kick it into overdrive to get those built before spring happens. But that'll help just a little bit. And our houses in the forest I'd like to try and preserve as much as possible. So why don't we go ahead and move these hay dryers. We'll just go ahead and get rid of them. And we will put them somewhere else. And I think you know what's going to go there. Oh, I missed one. Oh, bye bye That's right, we're going to put more of these wonderful little houses with the gardens over here. Don't forget, F1 is a thing. So we will do just that. Put another house right here on the corner. Looks pretty good to me. And then of course this well right here is presently in the way, so we're gonna go ahead and get that deconstructed. And then we'll put another house right there. As soon as those people come in and, you know, do their job just a little bit. Yeah, I think things are going just fine. We have plenty of grave space left, at least for another episode or two. So we just need these people to deconstruct this well, and we can put another house in here. For some reason, they like to be slow sometimes. You know how it goes. In the meantime, we can check our granaries here. Looks like our citizen-supplied goods are doing okay. Could be better. But supply does seem to be stabilizing somewhat. Not universally across everything, but some areas is looking quite good, like up here. Seems to be pretty, pretty, pretty good. When they get some more trees cleared up up here, of course, we'll put in another one of our roads and then more houses going this way. But for now... Alright, so that's going to be done here. I just need them to get these uh, planks out of the way here. All right, it says demolition complete, so we'll go ahead and just go ahead and make that empty so the stack can be taken care of. And we do still have quite a substantial debt. And it's not really uh, not really because of import. It seems to be we're paying TPL too much money and not making enough. So... Let's take a look here. See, this seems to be working okay. I think we just need more economic growth so I can sell more stuff when people come to uh, come trade. So, just need this last little bit of wood to get removed here, and we'll go ahead and put this other house in. We might can build houses on the south side of this cemetery because that's kind of a uh, kind of rude. Just a little bit. 
of course they're gonna take forever to do that so we'll, we'll come back to that when that's all taken care of here and we already yeah okay so this one's looking okay we definitely need more more houses with uh, with gardens over here so I think I can go ahead and put one here and then we'll come right across here just like so that'll be fine that'll force them to get rid of some of these trees which they were going to do anyway and we'll do the exact same thing on this side so now it is a house of building extravaganza here and these nails need to go away so please come get the nails and we will proceed I almost thought the game was gonna crash there nope just autosave but because we don't trust autosave what do we do we save anyway yeah so they're they're getting right to work getting rid of these trees over here things are looking good and this little thing of nails is finally gone so of course that means we can come in here and then get everything situated more or less things are looking good right here good stuff all right so that is a substantial amount of houses with gardens that is a good 11 of them so far in the queue now let's check our farms before the planting season begins this one's going to be potatoes 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 again uh, we'll, we'll cycle this up to buckwheat yeah potatoes potatoes buckwheat fallow potatoes again go ahead and do this one on buckwheat that should fix a little bit of stuff there I don't know how these get out of sync but they do it's gonna be buckwheat that's gonna be wheat potato fallow buckwheat and sunflower that should be fine okay we got fallow we've got sunflower we've got wheat 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 again and hemp okay those those seem to be doing reasonably okay and of course this one down here which we will we will reorganize at a time not at this exact moment buckwheat potato potato regular wheat regular wheat and regular wheat so stuff seems to be doing pretty well let's check and see what this messenger is offering here we'll just go ahead and sell our normal goodies here wheat we'll go ahead and buy hemp we'll go ahead and buy honey we have enough we never have enough metal parts for some reason yeah so now it's just the waiting game with all of these houses that have to get built but they should be done in time for everybody to plant it just requires time for people to come in and remove all the trees and it is February coming up on March so we should be getting back into the swing of things with all of our regular springtime business very very soon chickens are looking pretty good our supply exported last year we didn't really do much of anything in terms of export this year we're a little better now we'll see exactly what our everything is going to come out to be remember i hadn't had these fields activated and i felt like the biggest moron so those thankfully are all taken care of here and now this house is brand new right here no one has moved in yet but it is in time for them to go ahead and plant something so that is going to be a okay and again I feel understand how they're so bad at maintaining stuff I think it probably is just metal parts that's what it always is oh they have quite a few metal parts I was mistaken this one however does not oh it's supply limited to 30 forget that 
2000. How is that not... Maybe that was the problem this entire time. I hadn't had enough supplied there. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll fix, we'll fix this. We'll fix that. Yeah, distribute the wealth. Give these poor people some metal parts. No wonder they can't fix anything. There I am sitting here blaming them. It's because I did something stupid. We can't be having that, can we? All right, how are we looking over here? How's this school doing? No pupils. Well, there's not really enough people, I guess. Not enough children that are old. But we are getting there indeed. This house is just about ready to start construction. They just need to get one more tree out of there. I think it's this log. Yeah, all the stuff needs to be repaired. It's just at the mercy of the local carpentries here. So hopefully this fixes most of the stuff with people not being able to repair anything. How are we looking in terms of wagons? I think we should be okay. Horses are doing relatively good. Hmm. This one needs repairs. We have a carpentry right here, but they don't have enough metal parts. That'll get fixed eventually, right? We'll go ahead and stock up on most of the stuff. Clothing, we have 810. Yeah, you can take those by all means. Come and get it. All right, and that house is complete as well. Looks like these people have taken up a beekeeping as well as raspberries and some other crops off to the side here. And these people have not moved in yet. There we go. Looks like more of the same. So things progress nicely. And the school has three pupils. And has somewhat of a fence, but not a huge one. The trees we manually planted are looking a little better over here. These people need some landscaping in their backyards. You know what that means. Birch trees everywhere. Just to add a little bit of flavor here, these spruce trees will be at some point removed. Yeah, everything is looking quite nice in here, if I say so myself. People keep dying of old age, though. We might have to expand this, this episode, if more people kick the bucket before uh, November or so. So we'll, we'll be keeping tabs on that. How are we looking over here? They're still planting trees. These trees are still being harvested, so that's fine. So are these. And up here, yeah, they've got tons to harvest right here. So we'll just let them stick to that. And of course, they can't even harvest the trees because they're so busy planting others. And this house is finished. Hopefully we get people moving and doing all sorts of farming stuff in there. So it's, it's my hope that adding these new garden houses will help solve some of our supply issues. But it's just one of those things you don't know if it's going to work really well until it either works or doesn't work. And that's, that's just the way things go. But to some degree, I think playing games like that is fun where you, you don't really know what's going to happen until it does. It adds a little bit of a challenge to things, you know? Oh, our mayor moved out? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we lost our original mayor. Either died or quit and do something else, because this was his house, if I remember correctly. Yeah, these are all brand new... Okay, well, no, this one's 41 years ago, and that was... We found it 43 years ago. Well, it looks like most of our original residents are gone. These people are original. They're original. 39 is pretty close. 37... Hmm. 38 years ago. 3, 38. 
39. I guess we, we missed when our original mayor either died or moved out. Well, that's a shame. I always like to keep track of such things. I guess I missed that opportunity there. Yeah, so we're actually doing fine. Even though I took out a bunch of these hay dryers over here, we're actually doing fine with supply because these aren't even filled up with grass yet. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Another house down. Looks like we have seven more to go. Of course, no one has moved in here quite yet. We are almost at 900 residents, though, so that's exciting. Things continue to progress in our town. This area, of course, down here has not been fully dealt with yet, but they're waiting to remove a lot of these trees still. This cow shed is looking pretty good. The hay reserves are somewhere, technically. Alright, we'll leave this one alone so they can get up to 20, but let's go ahead and do our annual cow purge here. Get rid of all but one of the bowls of reproducing age to clear out room and also get a little bit of beef going into our economy. Ah, here we go. This is the jackpot right here. This cow shed is almost entirely bulls. There. I ought to fix that real quick. Leave that guy. Get another one right here. Yeah. That's what I was talking about, cow. You just keep on doing your thing. Alright, and that should help us out substantially as we are looking to get some more beef coming out into our granaries and everything like that. Progressing quite nicely here. This house, of course, is in the midst of being constructed. They just have to get rid of this one log right here. And construction can begin. Notice that it takes a inordinate inordinately long, excuse me, amount of time the larger our town gets, even though we have several construction offices, I think no, that's the wrong building where did I put this? here, we have seven here seven here just those two? okay well, we have 21 regardless because there are more up here at the town hall 21 builders should be able to build all these houses really really quick, but does not seem that that is the case. Well, they're going to get a move on on all of this stuff. How are our farms looking? Everything is looking nice over here. Looking good over here. Looking nice over here. And again down here, all of these are full. So we might actually have cattle that are not able to spend time in a field and reproduce, which is an unfortunate side effect sometimes of having a whole lot of farming going on, is you need a fallow field for each cow shed to have access to, unless you have another uh, cow shed pasture set up, which we only have a couple of those. We have three out here. We have one here. This is a cow shed pasture. I guess they didn't need this because they could have access to that. You can't link multiple cow sheds to one pasture, which I think is dumb. But maybe that will be fixed in another update. So we have, this would be five. So we have five cow sheds that actually have a pasture. And I think we have, how many cow sheds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. Okay, so there's just the one. That's, that could be worse. So we'll go ahead and purchase some of this stuff here. Selling sunflower oil again. Selling, now. Oh, we don't have enough clothes. But it seems like things are going relatively well. Of course, now over here all the houses that they were going to build this year are complete. Let's see, I don't think these people are going to plant any garden in July. It's probably a little too late. But this one over here looks like we've got raspberries, bees, and some other kind of ground crop. So we're getting a nice diversity of stuff, which is very helpful indeed. And this house is just about done. Yeah, and they're taking care of bees, it looks like. 
bees and maybe some raspberry bushes, depending on if that's actually crops or if that's just the decoration in front of the house. So we've got five more. Five more houses to build in this episode. And we do have a, a surplus of labor availability here, which is uh, not conducive to have people move in, but as harvest season comes around next month, that will change and we'll have a substantial deficit of available people here and a ton more jobs just as soon as that takes over. So I would say things are going relatively well. Now we have building houses down here. Have four here and then where's the last one I put? Yeah, right there. And these guys are already hard at work supplying all of these construction sites. So things are going quite well indeed. Now I asked a couple of you last time I posted an episode of Oster of what you would be wanting to watch next on the channel, and I got some pretty good suggestions. And I also asked if anyone was interested in watching Twitch streams, and nobody seemed to respond to that, so I'll ask it again. So if you think you'd be interested in Twitch streams on either Ostrov or other games, possibly some that you've suggested, possibly others as well, leave a comment below. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in, because I think it's something I'm going to start getting into, but I want to make sure I'm doing stuff that you guys want to see and that will be enjoyable for you and make it worthwhile to tune in. So leave your thoughts below and we will see where that goes. But for now, they are building these houses at nice speed down here. And I just love watching these get put together. It, it truly, truly never gets old. I'll just sit here and watch them take each individual beam and think about all the effort and the care that went into programming the game to take care of all these little details like this. I just love it. I can't get enough of it. It's so rare that games have this much detail. And I think that's one of the things that makes Ostrov such a compelling and easily replayable game because you have just so much detail to immerse you in the world of managing this town. And you just, I don't know, it's, it's just fun. Like sure, like SimCity's great, but the buildings don't get built like this, or at least the ones, versions of the game I play that don't get built like this. But we are doing fantastic. We are doing so well and things are being harvested. And that is going smoothly as far as I can tell. Yeah, see this farm is almost half done. Things are just going fantastic. Our riverbound friends have visited. And we've got clothing and stuff we can sell them. Yeah, looking really, really good here. Go ahead and sell them 2,000 sunflower oil as well. Raspberries, I th we think we have a thousand to sell them so they can take those. Onions as well, take those and be on your way, dried fish. 5,300, I don't think we need to buy any more. Honey, we have a bunch and we're going to get even more when people sell it. And salt, we are never buying salt again. That is fine by me and they are still planting all these trees, good lord. That's going to take 800 years. Yeah, so things are progressing quite nicely here. Let's check our granary, see if people are selling anything. Okay, five honey. I guess that's a start. Stuff just progresses slowly, you know? Look at this. We have all these people supplying this one. Well, things should be going a lot better before too long. We just have to have more supply. That's just the way it goes. So, you know, it could be better. But I think we have a pretty good setup of stuff here to make sure that we are in a good place and I do want to do a little bit more decorating before we have no more time left in today's episode since it's just been building pretty much but first let's go ahead and save right here there we go now this space right here is barren it is calling out my name I want to do something interesting here so I think we start by having no not getting in the way we start by having a fence kind of separate this area right here. I think we can go a little closer here. So just the maximum length of the fence, just like that. And now this creates an area right here we can build on. It kind of regulates traffic flow just a little bit. And I think this area doesn't have any uh, cart sheds. I mean, there's one up here and they all need repair. 
So why don't we go ahead, put in a nice cart shed over here. Oh, I need to find and rotate. Let's see if we can... I wish there was a way to align another building to a different grid instead of just... I mean, with, like, respect to a fence, obviously you can just copy-paste a building here. So we'll put this cart shed right here. That way it's easy to access for a lot of this stuff right here, and as well for the markets, that will be a huge benefit. Now I'm going to come up here to this smithy and I'm going to go ahead and build another carpentry up here. I don't think I can fit it in here which is fine I suppose because this should probably be a little more open but it will fit next to this forestry here. We'll just go ahead and put that right there and eventually this carpentry will be able to help Unless the game crashes again. Nope, there we go. Almost had me there. Help repair these carts because I think they're either out of range or they're very overworked and they can't get to all that. So how are we looking here? Oh, here's our famed white lines once again. Going from one house to another house. Very, uh, very interesting here. And these people are very young. Recently married. So I think, yeah, we're over 900 people. Next stop, 1,000. That was always my kind of ultimate goal, if you will, for this uh, playthrough of the game. But it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to stop there. It just means that's the first major stop. Can we fit a big arch number two in here? We sure can. You know what that means. A little bit of impromptu decorating as we kill a little bit of time at the end of today's episode. Yeah. That's going to be quite nice. We already have our wells right here, and they have plenty of capacity left. And we are just about out of time as they are constructing these houses here, or at least their uh, their animations are stuck here. Why are these people moving out? Firewood again? I thought we fixed this. I thought we had this all figured out. Maybe I was wrong. We sold 2,000 firewood this year. I guess we need to make sure. And they're all in high gear for firewood, so maybe they just, uh... Maybe it's a fluke. If it keeps happening again, then that's going to be cause for concern. We're going to have to build another forestry. I don't really want to deal with that. But it is November of 1764. We are just about out of time. Got a little bit of a building queue to finish up the next time we uh, play Ostrov here. Well, I just wanted to take the time while we are winding down to remind each and every one of you that I very much appreciate you stopping by, watching the videos, and participating. Many of you who participate in the comments as well, giving fantastic insight or just saying hi. I appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you'd be interested in watching some Twitch streams and any other content you might want to see, because we're about to come up to a point where we can do a couple new things as we're winding down the Dawn of Man Let's Play, and Ostrov could potentially get to a place where one or two episodes a week would be more fitting while we wait for some new content. Yeah, that's all the time we've got for today. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.